There are terms that need to be defined so that measuring a belt can be performed properly. When a belt is laying flat on a table, the length of the belt can be easily measured, and this is what's known as the layout length. Or when this belt is made endless, it is the net endless length. The other two common definitions of belt length are outside circumference length and inside circumference length. When a belt is joined, the layout length becomes the virtual pitch line. On a belt with a symmetrical construction, this pitch line is directly in the center of the belt, but for belts with asymmetrical construction, it can be at a different position depending on the thickness of the various layers that make up the belt. The inside circumference measurement is from the inside edge of the belt, and the outside circumference is from the outside of the belt. So this needs to be taken into consideration and adjustments made if you're making a belt to inside or outside circumference versus net endless length or layout length. Here we're going to demonstrate how to verify the length of a belt cut and prepared for a finger splice. You have to take into consideration the amount the belt is going to overlap because of the fingers and for that reason in order to measure, the to verify the length of the belt, you would measure from the inside of the tip at one end of the belt and at the opposite end of the belt all the way to the tip end of the finger. For a thermofix belt, sky bends prepared, you have to take into account the overlap of the belt when measuring the length of the belt. The layers match and a match line is applied at the top of the sky on one end of the belt. And so to measure the net endless length of a sky bend prepared belt, we start at the match line at the top of the sky on one end of the belt and measure down all the way to the tip end on the opposite end of the belt. In order to verify the length of a belt that is already made endless, place a mark on the edge of the belt. You may want to place the mark on a piece of tape so as not to mar the belt. Align your mark with the end point of your scale and then holding the belt in place carefully Roll it down the table along your scale. Careful, being careful not to let the belt shift until your mark comes back around. And this is the net endless length measurement of the belt. It's a good idea to repeat this procedure more than one time to verify the accuracy of your measurement to make sure that the belt hasn't shifted as you rolled it down the table. For belts that are short enough to make this practical, the inside circumference measurement of a belt can be verified with a flexible tape measure by holding it tight up against the inside circumference of the belt and checking the measurement. The outside circumference of a belt can be measured with a flexible tape measure around the outside circumference of the belt. To measure a belt on a conveyor, again, it's a good practice to use a piece of tape so that you don't mark the belt itself. Place a piece of tape and make a fine mark at one end of the conveyor. Mark this mark with a zero so that you know that that's your start point. Then go down as far away, still on the flat surface of the conveyor as you can get. Put another piece of tape. And what you'll want to do is measure the distance between your two marks. It can be simpler in the long run to pick an even number to place your mark. Record the measurement. Now rotate the conveyor until your second mark is at the, near the position where the first mark was and repeat the process. A piece of tape on the flat part of the belt as far away as you can comfortably get. Measure the distance from one to the other. Make another mark and again record the distance. 
depending on the length of the conveyor, eventually when you rotate the conveyor, your original mark will reappear. And when this happens, simply measure the distance from your last measurement to the original measurement, record that measurement. The sum of these measurements will be the pitch length, and if the belt is tensioned on the conveyor, this will be a tensioned pitch length. The actual NEL length will be slightly less than this value depending on the amount of tension on the belt on the conveyor.